What's going on guys, it's Brent here. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about how I went from this to this. So yeah guys, in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys some tips that I've learned, some tips that I've done, some do's and don'ts about losing weight. Tip number one, probably my most important tip for losing weight. Protein is very crucial for fat loss while you're burning and burning and burning your caloric deficit you're going to need that protein to help your muscles maintain or even build. So me at 190 pounds, I consume anywhere from 200 to 220 grams of protein every single day. Not only does protein keep you more full throughout the day, it actually takes more for your body to break down. So therefore it is burning more calories during the day. So the more protein you take in, the harder your body's working, the more calories you burn per day, per week, per month, per year. Get your protein up. Tip number two, obviously if you're trying to lose weight, you're going to find yourself a gym, you're going to do your exercises, you're going to do your workouts two to three times a week if you're new, maybe four to five if you're a little more advanced. But here's the thing, once people get done with their workouts, they're done. Stay active, find something that you enjoy to burn calories. Me personally, I go to the gym, I go for walks. I play basketball, I'm always doing something to keep me active, I'm always doing something to get my steps in. I try and get 10,000 steps every single day, so whether I want to walk to go get something, or walk just to walk, stay active, keep burning calories. Tipo numero three, oh. Yes, track your calories, do not try and eyeball things, you will overeat no matter what track your calories it's very important go ahead and download my fitness pal is one it's not i wish they were sponsored i wish this was a sponsored video but it's not i use my fitness pal it's really simple really convenient i have my friends using my fitness pal we all track our calories but the main thing is for me personally all i track is calorie intake and protein intake i don't give a damn about the carbs the fats Obviously, I don't eat the sugars anyways. All you need to focus on is your protein intake and your calorie intake, making sure you're in a deficit, making sure you get a gram of protein per pound of body weight, and you'll be good. And another thing about calories, while we're here, make sure you're eating enough calories. Do not starve yourself. This is what I looked like when I was starving myself and not eating properly at 213 pounds. As you can see, it doesn't look like there's an inch of muscle on my body. At the time I was in school, I was just not eating. I would do 30 minutes of cardio in the morning, then I'd go to school, go to gym, then do 30 more minutes at night. I was consuming like a thousand calories, literally not even kidding. I would not eat. And it was just disgusting. It was a terrible thing I was doing. I didn't realize what I was doing, and I'm so glad that I have learned and gotten better. Tip number four, the fourth one. Let's say every morning you have one large banana, two slices of toast, and two tablespoons of peanut butter. So you're like, you know, I'm going to go salt and light, just two pieces of peanut butter toast and a banana just to get me going through the day. Wrong. That is about 710 calories which is insane for the amount of food that you're eating. So I'm gonna tell you something that'll help you get those calories down. All right, so here's the deal. You take away the toast and you take away that peanut butter and you substitute it for one or two of these if you would like. One is 50 calories and they taste really good. You can get chocolate, you can get caramel, you can get regular if you want. Regular is like 30 calories. These, 50 calories each. Boom, done. Then what do you do with the peanut butter? Powdered peanut butter. You can get PB2, you can get the great value, doesn't matter. This is 50 calories. 50 calories for two tablespoons. You're already down to 431 calories if you have two rice cakes, two tablespoons of powdered peanut butter, and one banana. You just took away 280 calories. You're welcome. But on a real note, you can find other healthier alternatives to the food you eat. I have been doing this for a few months now, and I eat the same things every single day. And honestly, I used to get tired of it, 
and I really don't anymore. I have the cheat day once a week, but every single day I have oatmeal, I have chicken and rice, I have protein bars, I eat rice cakes, I eat the same things every single day that typically get me the same amount of calories every single day, same amount of proteins, blah, blah, blah. Guys, find stuff that's healthier and that you enjoy. You can go out and look. It really helps out with dieting. It really helps out with staying on track. If you're enjoying what you're eating, why would why would you stop doing it, you know? Find stuff you like. Tip number five. You guys got to stop drinking your calories, whether you enjoy orange juice or apple juice or whatever kind of juice you like, whatever kind of beverage, whether it's pop or blah, blah, blah. It adds up. They have a lot of calories. What do you think is more filling? 280 calories of a soda or a juice of your liking or 280 calories of chicken and rice or vegetables or turkey? The second answer is the better answer. You guys can't just drink and drink and drink. If you want to drink something that tastes good, find something that has zero calories. There's monsters out there. There's energy drinks. There's black coffee. There's like little seltzers. Drink those. Drink water. All I do is drink water. But do not drink your calories, especially with sugary stuff. It's going to make you go over. You won't be in a deficit and... It's not going to help you lose weight. Not one bit. Don't drink your calories, guys. Just for you guys, I'm going to do an extra tip number six. Enjoy yourself, really. There's going to be good days and there's going to be bad days. There's no need to step on the scale every single morning and get discouraged if you're a little heavier or you didn't lose the amount that you wanted. I've been there. Trust me, it's not good. What comes with weight loss also has to do with mental health. Um... I've been in very bad places with my head, with my weight, with my body, with everything, and it's not worth it. Don't step on the scale. Just focus on yourself. Focus on how you look. Focus on how you feel. You're eating good. You're feeling good. You're looking good. So, yeah, that, that'll be my sixth tip. Just enjoy it. Be happy with the process. It's not going to come immediately. Yeah, guys, those are going to be my tips. From looking like this, to looking like this, to looking like this, and to eventually looking like this. Um, It's been a long process. Doesn't come immediately, like I said. Enjoy it. That's going to be the video, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like and comment down below what you'd like me to do in future videos. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.